Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess jumping off that, like, what's your, how do you approach endings, I guess, in the context of improvisation? Like, they're like, one happened, and we took it, and it was like, oh, we've ended. Yeah, like, like, what is that, do you, do you jump at endings, or do you let ending, like, what, yeah, do you have, what do you think about endings? Yeah, well, I think part of it is we're playing together for the first time, hmm. right? And so there is something more secure about you know, the first the first time you recognize an ending, yeah. you're probably better off grabbing yeah, it yeah. when you're getting to know someone. Yeah. Um, so I think that's one very practical logistical way of mm. thinking about it. Um, in contexts where I'm more familiar with another person, then there's the opportunity to blow through that ending and to say, yeah. "Oh, but I've I've got this other thing ready, and I think it's going to work as a nice continuation mm. of this." And I don't think in that moment. I'm then thinking, oh, and I've got the promise of how the next five minutes are going to unfold because I'm not able to see that far into the future. But there is sort of, you know, it's sort of you're giving a note to the other person that says, I know I yeah, yeah. refused your gesture here. <laughs> <laughs> and so now you have the option to, yeah, yeah. you know, sort of play the next heavy card. Mm. Uh, you have the option to, you know make the next unilateral decision yeah. as it were um, so you know I, I think it's you know we're having fun we're in the moment it's easy to get excited about the sounds that we're hearing and the gestures and the way that our languages are fitting together um, but it's also something where I want to keep in mind the audience and think okay hmm. is that going to be as fascinating for somebody who's not in the middle of it yeah, yeah. Not, you know, anybody who comes to the music is going to come to it with goodwill and be, you know, either they're turning off this video in the first <laughs> 15 seconds or they're on board. Yeah, those people are gone already. <laughs> uh, but there is a sense in which, you know, knowing that the listener's clock is different than the performer's clock. Yeah. You know, it's not a bad idea to take endings where they're. Yeah, yeah. Go. I mean, that's, that's a good distinction. And it's interesting to, to hear your, like, uh, rationale there because I, I, I am definitely of camp. And then presents itself and take it, um, probably more across the board. But uh, it was interesting to have that be like uh, um, a getting to know each other. Like if, if we've been playing for like fifteen years, that we might play through it. Whereas for me, I feel like, I mean, definitely that's the case. And there's always the um, the experience and knowledge to play counter to someone's intent, as like, uh, but not not aggressively. Like I, I I hear what you're doing, and I'm not going to do that. And this is instead, but the the comfort and knowledge can that can still be a uh, agreeable gesture to disagree in a musical context if that makes sense. Right. Whereas I think like yeah, playing together for a long time with my musicians that I have, like the endings happen sooner quicker, and it's like and party didn't start it, but the ending was there, and it's like yeah, well there we go. That's you know like just the 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 preciousness of for one there's like a serendipity. So this one was like kind of like a serendipity, like our kind of gestures sort of co-ended. And it was like, all right, yeah, okay, cool. As opposed to having our gestures sort of like both intentionally cadence out. Right. Like this was of the like, we both breathed in at the same time and that was the end. Um, well, and what I heard us doing there was, you know, we're trying to bring these very energetic gestures. We're trying not to start a getting to know you performance by sounding the other yeah, thing. Yeah. What will you do if I play this little <laughs> thing and kind of beckon yeah. you? Um, it seemed like we were actively refusing that. Oh yeah. Sort of saying, okay, let's, you know, like I'm gonna start pelting you with snow yeah. and you're, I count on you to give me as good as I, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. you know, I get as good, whatever the yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Um So in that 
be like we've we've established there that we're mm. not going to here come over come over here yeah. try this thing <laughs> whereas if we were in a you know electroacoustic improvisation you know long silences very patient quiet drones mm. then sure you stop playing and maybe i also stop playing but i'm not gonna make the smile eye contact yeah, with yeah. you and, you know, stay in that thing and maybe we are going to play for half an hour in that mm. context but having started with the snowball fight yeah yeah then there's a different kind of rules of engagement i think so, yeah i think of it that yeah way. yeah uh, let me ask you that so like let's say like if this was um a slower more droney like uh quieter subtle longer gesture thing do you think that inherently because you sort of had the distinction of like an expositiony like boop, 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 kind of thing um, and then you contrasted that with the longer, slower material as like a continua. Like, is can we do that? Can we have a snowball fight with the slow, subtle material? Like, as opposed to having like, um, obviously, it's not going to be like, bah, 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 like loud, but like it would be the. Can we have that kind of improvisation without the expositionary? Like, how will you respond if I do this? Like, yeah. where the the gestures are still as. Uh, um, not combative, but like uh, irreverent of clearly establishing an immediate game, like 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 kind of hunting for like boop 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 boop, boop. like that. Not doing that, yeah. but slow. I mean, I don't want to cut off the conversation too quickly, but I think we can, and I think yeah, we should yeah. try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll give that a, a spinner, but let's it's, see what we can do. <laughs> but it's interesting that that kind of continue because mm -hmm. I. I for, I, I am 100% there and I, I do consciously avoid that and like like uh, like like canonical rules like like endings right away no exposition like like these are sort of like tenants that I, I, I think are important um, the other one that I think my third main tenant is not to do uh, the extremes of everything so as in like if, like if really loud to really soft or really this to really that because then that ends up being so uh, binarily reductive hmm you know, like, like where it's just like a cube without the bits in the middle, you know. It's but, about uh, establishing that space for you. Or not necessarily, than... like, but, but like the space needn't be an exploration of all totality of a sonic thing. It can be just this one corner and that's it. Mm -hmm. So it could be all loud or all quiet or whatever, but it needn't be, if it's loud, it needn't also be quiet and all the bits in the middle. Yeah. You know, like not every gesture or not every performance is an exploration of all possible things like... Like play every single note, you know, at every dynamic, like that, that's a... Okay, so that's where I connect to that. I don't think of it in terms of extremes and, you know, on, on the one hand, I don't think, okay, if I'm playing fortissimo, then I also need to play very quietly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I wouldn't shy away from that necessarily either. But what I am thinking is like, okay, I know what the universe of what this setup can do is more mm. or less. Hopefully I'm still making some interesting discoveries as I go, but I'm very consciously trying to hold back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Say, so okay, it's, it's let me, more... Let me give you 10% of that. Exactly. And then when we play again, I can give you a different, hopefully yes. 10%. Yeah. Um, but that like no, with, with that metaphor, like a performance isn't demonstrating 100%. Right. Of whatever whatever that is, either a continual or a pitch space or a gestural language or whatever it is, like that, like that's an exhaustive, exhausting, comma slash exhaustive, ex, like gesture, you know, which I think is like uninteresting. In the same way that, like, if I played every single note on this guitar, that would be. I mean, in some contexts, that might be interesting, but generally speaking, <laughs> right? As a Tom Johnson composition, yeah, yeah. like, great, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> but if I was to sit here and do that now, that probably wouldn't be the the thing. <laughs> Right. Um, right. So yeah, like that, that. Yeah, I actually do have those kind of things as, as sort of rules. But the 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 specifically avoiding exposition is is I think something that's valuable. And that comes from just like decades of improvising with people I've either not played with before or or like often with people I've not played before because that's such a obvious thing. But not that obvious is bad. But in this case, obvious is bad. But the like it just isn't interesting as a performer. Or as a listener, I find often. Now, it, it, yeah, I mean, there might be a listener out there who's, you know, getting that same introduction into the sound world that the musicians are getting. Yeah, and yeah. So, like, I don't, I think it could work. I don't think it's a, you know, yeah. this is a hard and fast <laughs> rule, but it's, it is very much the default tendency. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. 
default tendencies deserve to be questioned. Yeah. Right. And w whether engaged with or not, but yeah, mm. that, that there's a question to it. Like, like perhaps if it is done, it is with an intentionality um, as like maybe even a meta thing. Like, like there might be a meta thing where I will like duty, duty, duty as like a sort of sub comment, like ironically, you know, although not funny ironically, but like conceptually ironically is, is like a meta game, you know? Right. Um, Actually, riffing on that, like, what, how do you view, I mean, the game is, like, coming from, I guess, like, a theater improv thing, but how do you view uh, game in the terms of this? And, and by the I mean, like, realizing a certain kind of interaction is happening and then pursuing that interaction, be it a college response would be, like, a very obvious one or, like, you're high, I'm low, or, like, like where we, where you realize that there is a, a specific interaction that's happening between in a duet it's, it's quite clear and your role in it how important is it for you to do you think about that i mean game is a weird word in this context but like yeah you can probably understand what i'm getting at here i sometimes yes and sometimes no which is a unhelpful answer but I, <laughs> like i think in what we were just playing um there were a few moments where i was conscious of a role and okay here's a space that Rodrigo is leaving me sonically that I can fit into or hear, you know, I'd like to hear some bass in mm. the music right now and it's not there in this moment. So let me see what I can do to provide that. Um, so there are more moments where I'm thinking in terms of that kind of, you know, what's the opportunity? How do I stage something for you? Is there a mm. moment where I can pull back and let you mm -hmm. have a little more spotlight? I think you're doing something interesting or... You know, less like, oh gosh, I need to set up the, my next yeah, idea yeah. and more how do I frame you or create space for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there were also moments in that where I really wasn't thinking in that moment yeah, at yeah. all. And it, you know, I, I don't know where <laughs> the snowball fight image came from, but it's bad. It's just like, how can I keep this going? Um, if I want to have that sense of barrage mm. in this music, then I need to be moving to the next thing and finding that. Um, so, I, you know, I think, again, it's a kind of contextual question and it's, you know, if I'm, if we've been playing together longer than I might know more ways to fit in, I might yeah. know more of your preferences and more of your, you know, oh, I think you'll want to hear this here. Or I think, you know, it can also be the sort of teasing, like, I bet it'll annoy you if I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. I mean, there's, there's that, like, um, that's... One of the things that I really enjoy about duet playing specifically is that that kind of uh, those relationships are a little bit more apparent. So, like if you are playing against yeah. a clear intention, it, it it is legible. Whereas, like if there's three people, for example, and you're doing that, is it like does he not get it, or what? Like the 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 non uh, face to face dynamic becomes more complex. Right. It's it, you know? the dialogic quality. Yes, exactly. Yeah. In the same way. And it offers a lot of opportunities for things like that. Either like acknowledging but not doing or acknowledging but going against or or whatever all the permutations of, of how those interactions can go which yeah is i i find duet to be a very enjoyable thing just for those that aspect of it um yeah the game one is is one is just in my mind a bit but like i don't always think that way but it is interesting to think of when behaviors like that emerge then one's reaction to it like i there is a game you know, high, low, call and response, whatever it is. What do I do? Density level, energy exactly. level, rhythmic quality. Yeah, yeah. There's there's any number of, of things that it can it manifest as. But then, do I continue it? Do I stop it? Do I do I do I let it flourish? Do I do I support like like all of these things that like the that comma then your comment about um, the qualities of, of the interaction uh, is something that yeah it's just been on my mind as a thing. So I was just curious like if, if yeah. you thought about. I, I need to think more about that metaphor. It's it's funny, you know, I made a bunch of structured improvisation pieces, so they're scored in some way, but meant to spur creativity rather than to get a fixed result. Hmm. So like the deck of cards that has some, hmm. you know, very post-oblique strategies idea yeah, yeah. of like, let me provoke you into different kinds hmm. of images and sounds. Or uh, flow charts where you can take multiple paths and choose how you're going to move through this space or other, other ways of thinking about group dynamics. Hmm. Um, and that was incredibly useful for me as a self-pedagogy 
Like, mm. What am I interested in? What do I care about? How do I get compositional, formal quality, interesting trajectories, meaningful, mm. long-term things happening um, in this, at the same time that I'm still trying to really do heads up, active listening improvisation. Mm. Um, but then I haven't, you know, I think those things very easily conceptualize as games. Yeah. Um, but I haven't carried that thought over into working in these yeah, yeah. spaces. Um, so I want to take that away. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's like, cause there's like game pieces as, as like a musical, like Zorn and, and things like that. But like that was, I was specifically thinking from like, like comedy slash theater improv where you might have a scene and it's going and part of what the function of that scene is like, Oh, hi, your name, you know, like whatever, something's happening, some kind of verbal interaction and establishing what that game is like, for whatever reason, you're always, yeah, you're always saying no to the thing. And like it, that, that is now, I realize that's the game that's happening or whatever. And then that becomes part of the, how things go from there. But like, there's a concept of not necessarily exploring a game as in like a game piece, like this is the rules and we will do this thing. It's more like, Oh, I realize, there is right. this is the logic yeah. of this situation yes. as it is unfolding which is which is a cool there, there's so many like uh like theater metaphors that i really find useful for um because i guess the vehicle of language enables certain kinds of interactions that we can't musically mm -hmm. you can be a lot more explicit about things so there's a lot of things that you can do with that that you can't do here but are useful to try to do here and this is yeah one of them yeah 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 cool should i play a bit more yeah let's do
If you'd like to support the making of these videos, please join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.